Hi again, this is Sue. Sorry for the break in the other video, and this is part two. Um, the dogs decided to start growling and barking at some imaginary person that had come to the door. Um, okay, so we were talking about needles, and these are hand needles. Um, these are the type that I would use if um, I was going to do some hand sewing, and I think the dogs might start again, so I really do apologise for that. As you can see, the price here is just ridiculous, and that's because I have inherited these from my mum, bless her. So you might see some prices that you just can't get these at at the moment, um, but that's just because we've had them in our stash and we're still using them. But they are what I would use for hand sewing. Um, also, oh, I'm just going to have a look at these. Yeah, these are called Easy Thread. Um, needles and that's because they've got a funny top where you pull the thread down through them I actually don't use these my mum used these um, but you know needles are needles and when you need them you don't mind okay we've got some called quilting needles here and again the price is absolutely ridiculous but there you go these are really tiny and very very fine and that's because when you're quilting um, Yes, you are going through lots of layers, but you do need a very fine needle. Uh, again, I have used these when I've done some quilting, but at the moment you won't probably won't need these for a little while because I doubt we'll do anything hand quilted as yet. Um, these other ones here I've got are gold eye quilt basting needles. As you can see, they're really long, and that's because when you're basting a quilt together or tacking as they say in England um, a long needle like this is great because you can do several stitches at a time but we'll look at those another time um, I can't pick those up I'll just have a look to see what these are these betweens they're pretty much like um, sewing needles as well I they call all these different names, but um, I think the size I use is about a size eight for sewing, hand sewing. So that gives you an idea. So that's the needles. The other thing you're going to need is um, some tape measures. I've got three here. These are what I use. They've got inches on one side. And you will find with me that I do talk about inches. That's because I'm old school. And also because when you deal with quilting, a lot of the stuff is um, American and they talk in inches. So it's just easier to keep it in mind. And um, so you will find that I get a bit confused about inches and centimetres. I'm happier in inches. But of course, my daughter's happier in centimetres. Anyway, these um, I've had this one for so long. It's ridiculous. I think. Oh, I can't even imagine when we bought it. But what you do have to watch with tape measures is over time they do stretch. And so the um, oh, so the inches aren't real inches, you know, if you're using the whole um, tape measure. So just be aware that if it's quite old, then it might not be quite as accurate as you need if you're going to be measuring large bits. When you're just using an inch or two and a half centimetres um, to measure, then it probably isn't too bad. It's just the bigger bits. And the other type you can get, of course, are oh, cloth ones of these. These are really handy. I love this one. I keep losing it because I leave it lying around, but I do love it. So that's tape measures. You will need those. And the other thing you might need, and I used to need these constantly, is your um, unpicker and seam ripper. There is a way to use these and somewhere I saw it on Facebook somebody explaining how you use them properly and it is brilliant this little pointy bit unpicks your stitch and then once you've got a few unstitched you can then hold the material and you can just get it in between this ball and then just rip the whole thing and it does all the stitches you have to be a bit careful but that's quite good and I would always suggest you keep the guard on it because I have poked myself um, plenty of times dishing around in something. Um, the other thing I should have spoken about was a needle threader. You can get these. These are quite good. Um, 
I, as you can see, the packet's not undone because actually I don't have an awful lot of trouble at the moment threading a needle. I do if the light isn't right, so that's why I got this, just in case. Um, actually, I was going to say to you that I wasn't going to do sewing machine needles. I remember at the end of the other video I talked about not doing needles for sewing machines. And that's just because I think that's a whole another subject, if you like, about sewing machine and needles. Um, right, what else? Oh, let's talk about pens, pencils. You'll always need a pencil, which isn't very sharp, but you always need a pencil. Always keep a barrow by in case I want to make any notes. What I haven't put on here is a notepad. I do have like um, a little journal book that I keep all my notes in because I'm terrible at losing stuff. Really bad. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see that. That is called a water permanent pen. You will see me use these. I've got trouble getting the tops off. It's a blue one, this one. Um, I use these because when you're trying to mark up material, Maybe you need to put, I'll show you one later actually because I'm going to do a demo on um, tacking and oh, tailor tacks. Just show you quickly how to do those. And I will use one of these. And what I love about it is if you just dab it with a bit of cotton wool with water on it, it disappears. So it doesn't leave a mark on your fabric. And sometimes you just need that. These ones are great. These, um, I use these in... I've still got very old fashioned, I've still got a file of facts, I just love them. I don't use, well I do use my um, calendar on my phone, but somehow I just don't trust it as much as I do a piece of paper. That ages me somewhat, but hey ho. So yeah, these, I use these in my um, file of facts. <laughs> and that's because I can write in a, an appointment and then with this end here, if I cancel it, I can just rub it out. So they're brilliant. And on fabric, you can use them and use an iron and the iron, the heat of the iron will take the mark out. The only thing I will warn you about is on a dark fabric or a darker fabric, sometimes these do leave a silvery line for a little while, but they're okay. And I love these pens, they're brilliant. So if you can get any of the marking pens are a good idea, you can buy others. They're just as good just a preference thing really what you want to use um what else have we got okay let's talk about thread i've got so you know you're gonna need some thread i use these ones for tacking so obviously that's for a dark color and that is for a light color um you can see i've stuck the needle in it <gasps> but that's what i do anyway um I keep those in my pack, but I also do have a big, quite a big stash of um, what I call sewing thread, and I I love Gutterman sewing threads. I haven't bought them all out here because I just literally have got loads, but I have a stash of these. Sorry, you can now hear my dog barking in the garden. I think there's a pigeon's probably landed in there and it's annoying him. Um, what I do like about this is, I can't, I'm trying to do this around the back of my iPad, so I'm not very good at it. But that little groove there, you can put your thread in there and it will keep it tight so it doesn't go all loose and horrible. That's great. And somebody said to me, actually, if you unscrew it, this is where you can't do it live, you can put a needle in there and it will stack still your needle as well as your thread. I haven't done that, but uh, it might be a good idea. Okay, um, the other things. Okay, let's talk about these. And these. Ooh. So the other things you might want are pin cushions to keep your pins in. But I keep them. I keep them everywhere. I'm so untidy. <laughs> um, got them in a little pot like this. Um, this is a really old one. I had this when I was at school I believe but anyway um yeah I love these and this one I made myself because I couldn't find this one day um and this goes around your wrist and it's got a popper and that goes around your wrist actually that is I have to tell you it is so handy to have one of these um as you can see it's a bit 
tatty, but hey, um, it's all handmade. So that is really, really useful when you're doing stuff. This is useful by your wash, uh, wash machine, sewing machine. And as I say, I use these. The other things I love are these little clips. My God, they are so helpful. They really are. They um, clip onto the edge of your fabric, keeping everything together. And when you're trying to put zips into things, they are unbelievably helpful. And also when I make bags, I try sometimes use these around the top. So that's really useful. So I would suggest, yes, it would be great to use those. I really apologise about the dog. I really apologise. So sorry. Um, the other thing I want to just mention briefly is a rotary cutter. This is one of the ones I have. Yes, I do use this to cut material. Um, and you also have a cutting board, which I haven't got with me at the moment because it's in upstairs somewhere. But these are really useful. And again, we will go through how to use them nearer when we're going to use them. And the last but not least is one of these little beauties, which um, cuts out material. Uh, sorry, no, it doesn't cut out. I'm really sorry. I was distracted. The dogs have rushed in. I thought, are they going to bark? But they've gone out again. Um, I use this. It's um, like a seam. So when you've sewn something, you can use it. It's a bit like, not like an iron because it doesn't do such a good job. But it can flatten your seams. And this bit on the end here is great when you need to poke a corner out. So it doesn't go through it like a pair of scissors might. It's because uh, it's blunt. So that's really useful. And I think I got that from Create and Craft. Anyway, that was just a real quick introduction to some of the things you might like to get and put in your sewing basket. It does seem like a lot, um, but it really isn't. So hopefully that's been helpful. Speak to you soon. Bye.